Who was Vladimir Lenin, and why is he important? That is what we will be discussing in this lesson. Vladimir Lenin was a communist revolutionary who helped orchestrate the Russian Revolution and emerged as the first premier of the Soviet Union. Lenin played a senior role in a number of revolutions leading up to the overthrow of Russia's Tsar Nicholas II in 1917. He formed the world's first communist state, the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic, in 1917, which, a few years later, would be the basis for the greater Soviet Union. He was also instrumental in getting Russia out of World War I. Don't worry, we'll talk about some of this in more detail later on. Lenin was heavily influenced by another figure, Karl Marx. Marx was a German philosopher who set the theoretical foundation for modern communism. He also had a pretty epic beard. He was essentially the father of communism. Marx, along with another intellectual named Frederick Engels, authored the Communist Manifesto in 1848. Marx is widely regarded as one of the most influential thinkers in modern history. His ideas affected a host of disciplines, including philosophy, history, politics, and economics. But this lesson is more about Lenin than it is about Marx. So where does Lenin come in? Well, Lenin basically took the theories of Marx and implemented them in a practical form. Because of this, Marx and Lenin are considered the founding fathers of the communist system. In fact, the political theory behind communism is often called Marxism-Leninism. Tsar Nicholas II came to power in Russia in 1894. He proved to be unpopular with the Russian people. Many saw him as haughty and aloof. By the early 1900s, discontentment with the monarchy swelled to the point of revolution. During the revolution of 1905, the Tsar's Imperial Guard opened fire on a crowd of protesters, killing hundreds, possibly thousands. This event, known as Bloody Sunday, further fanned the flames of radical revolution. In the early 1900s, Lenin emerged as the leader of a radical political group called the Bolsheviks. The Bolsheviks were composed primarily of working class citizens and were committed to Lenin's brand of communist ideology. Bolsheviks differed from their more moderate counterpart, the Mensheviks. Lenin's radicalism got him in trouble with the monarchy. At various times throughout the early 1900s, he was imprisoned, exiled to Siberia, and forced to live abroad. When World War I broke out, Lenin hoped to transform the war into a worldwide war against capitalism. Of course, the war didn't quite take the turn he had hoped. With World War I still going on, revolution broke out in 1917. The February Revolution, as it has been called, resulted in the overthrow of Tsar Nicholas II and the installation of a new leftist provisional government. The new provisional government was divided between various factions, including Lenin's Bolsheviks and the moderate Mensheviks. During the October Revolution of 1917, of course, the Bolsheviks overthrew the provisional government and formed a communist government. Lenin then moved quickly to withdraw Russia from World War I. In March 1918, the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk was signed. It ended Russian participation in the First World War. Following the Bolshevik seizure of power, civil war broke out between the conservative whites and the communist reds. The Reds won the war in 1922, at which point the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, USSR, was formally established. Lenin served as the premier of the Soviet Union until his death in 1924. He was succeeded by Joseph Stalin. Vladimir Lenin has been a tremendously influential figure in modern history. 
Even into the 1980s, Lenin's image remained a prominent symbol of the Soviet Union. Prior to the fall of communism in the late 1980s and early 1990s, there were statues of him everywhere. He appeared on flags and banners. Think of it this way. Lenin was to the Russian people what George Washington is to Americans. If you understand that, you understand just how important Lenin was. He, along with Karl Marx, was a primary architect of the communist system. Let's review the central themes of this lesson. Vladimir Lenin was the communist revolutionary who played a senior role in the Russian Revolution and became the first leader of the Soviet Union. He was influenced by Karl Marx, the German philosopher who developed the theoretical framework for modern communism. The two men are considered the founding fathers of communism. Vladimir Lenin came to power after Tsar Nicholas II was overthrown in the February Revolution of 1917. Lenin was the leader of a radical political faction known as the Bolsheviks. The Bolsheviks were composed primarily of working class citizens. Once the Bolsheviks seized power in the October Revolution, Lenin moved quickly to end Russian involvement in World War I. The Treaty of Brest-Litovsk was signed in March 1918. It formally ended Russian participation in the war. Lenin went on to form the Soviet Union and served as its first premier until his death in 1924.